Hi guys, I am thrilled to be on with you today and this is going to be just a live and a, a live communication talking with you, sharing with you a couple of things that I think will make a difference to you in your painting world. If you're out there painting and you want to give as gifts or you want to go to shows coming up in the fall, if you're interested in making extra income or saving money, I want you to know that I have some great ideas for you. And I want to be sharing okay. some of those with you. I want to add um, another element into my teaching with you. For years, I've had many, many um, painters around the world who have come and decided to be certified as one of my instructors. I have certified instructors in over 147 countries. I have um, taught many, many years around the world and gone to some countries I never thought I'd get to go to, which was pretty exciting. Hello, Bernadette. Hello, hello. And Barbara, thanks for coming on. I want opportunities to talk to you guys and see how I can help you um, in your desire to grow your painting uh, talents and to figure out ways to earn money and save money. So those are things that um, on the shopping channels and all, hello, Miss Lynn and Gilbert, those are things that I'm not um, necessarily able to say when I'm on the shopping channels uh, over the years, they've told me, don't say you can make money. And because it's kind of like a promise, but I'm just wanting to share with you when, in a new format, I'm going to paint with you guys today, but I want to show you on a new format of something I'm interested in doing. And mostly because I've had so many people ask, so many people asking me, how do I price? What are some really good art show pieces? What would I do um, if I wanted to become a teacher? What would I do if I wanted to earn extra income at home while I'm raising my family? These are all things that happen with me for many years. I raised seven children and I was dying to make some income in my home while I was doing that. And so instead of making a blog or coming out with just more content, which is very hard for me to do in my busy life, hello from Mexico. Uh, my grandson went to uh, Mexico City for a mission for our church for two years. And then my other grandson went to Mexico City also for two years, but he was um, on the border of America. So I'm not really sure what city that was. So welcome. Welcome. They love, love, love Mexico. They want us to go back when pandemic's over. Um, hello, Miss Tammy. And Katie, Lynn, thank you guys for coming on. I I want to share with you um, some thought processes I had. And from Ontario, hello, hello. Um, some of the, the aspects of making this work for you and whatever your desire is with painting. So, so many people have never seen one stroke before, which is still exciting because I've been around uh, for 26 years now um, and I've painted way more than 26 years, but 26 years out in the public at the trade shows, sharing what I created. Um, uh, hello, Shamey. Uh, hello, hello. I'm not saying names right because I can't even see. I've got new glasses and I'm still blurry eyed. I'm trying to pull this up closer. Hello, greetings from Costa Rica. Hello. So um, I have been blessed to go all over the country, all over the world, all over the all over the U.S. and then all over the world and places I never thought I'd get to go to. I got to go to um, Israel and go in Turkey and to go places and walk walk the walk that Christ walked. And I had this amazing biblical uh, tour guide, and he took us. He was a, one of the hosts that did translating for me. And he took us every step that Christ pulled the cross. I, it was so amazing to me. And there were two that were Catholic. There was um, my husband and I, who were Mormon and Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And um, 
and then somebody who was Methodist. So it was really nice as we were together and we all worked together to make that path and, and do that. Love this waiting in the doctor's office and would much rather be home painting. <laughs> That's a good thing. Exactly. Um, so what I want to share with you is I came from, um, I lived out in the woods with my family. We had goats and chickens and rabbits and, um, and there were five of us and I was the oldest. And what I always desired to do was to have a pretty house and a home that I could decorate and fix up. And, and immediately when I got married, I never wanted a lot of children because I was the oldest of the five and to babysit all the time and take care of them because uh, my mom was sick quite a bit. I was just like, I was a brat. <laughs> and so I didn't, I wanted to have more fun than uh, raising all these little children until I started having my babies. And I just fell in love with my babies so much that I wanted my babies where I was. So I uh, would have the neighborhood children uh, that people ask me to babysit after school come to my house. So here's the person who never wanted to babysit. There were always nine kids after school at my house and, and there was always a baby. And I was always every two years having another baby. So I think I had all my children by the time I was 27 or 28. Um, so that we were uh, prolific as, as prolific as I am with painting. So, um, and creating, but I just, I want to get to know you guys a little better. I want you to let me know if this is something that you think is fun. If you would like to know um, some quick and easy ways to sell your products or to sell them on. I know you can sell them online. There's lots of places like Etsy, but going to the local shows is what I did. But now there's lots of things that you can do on social media to bring in the income. How, much, how many kids do you have? I have seven seven children, 29 grandbabies. So, um, and my oldest daughter died the day before her 23rd birthday. She was out at college and her heart just quit. There was no heart problems in our family. She just, she hiked up a mountain one day and she ran five miles a day for soccer, very strong athletic, and she passed away. So, um, so she taught us so much. So I don't know if um, if you um, have a clear um, um, vision of where you know your loved ones are, but I know Maria's loving. Um, oh, she died at two. I'm so sorry, honey. Um, I just know that we have a bond as mamas who have lost our babies. My Maria was... Um, the day before her 23rd birthday. And she had been out at college for three years. <laughs> and um, so we didn't have a lot of money then. And we, I couldn't even go out there and help her sit up her little dorm and stuff that mom's got to do. I just painted my crazy head off. <laughs> and so the blessings, I was, oh, you're such a comfort to me. My husband died. Hard to believe it's been seven months. I know, Barbara, I have to tell you, when my husband went through cancer a couple of years ago, I saw my whole life in front of me. It was way different than losing a daughter. When I lost a daughter, part of, part of me was cut away. It was just so broken. And um, it was overnight unexpected. But as you, and that happens with, many of you guys who have lost your spouses. Um, my daughter died at, at uh, 21. She was a music teacher. Wow. Um, my Maria was studying to be, um, she wanted to be a social worker. And I said, oh my gosh, do something that you can make money and take it and help them because the uh, the other, the government controls what you can really do in social work. And she said, I want to make new laws and change it. <laughs> so does that sound like uh, somebody that um, we know? If you have been watching my Facebooks at all, my Amanda just comes right in there and says how it is. And if you've ever met my daughter, Kara. So Kara and Amanda, 
Um, oh, that's awesome. Um, Kara and Amanda are strong women. <laughs> I can be strong, but I'm, I, I, um, I try to feel, they do too. So I don't know. I just am proud of them that they can stand on their own and be strong. And that's, what's really important. Um, so one of the things I just wanted you to think of before I get too carried away, um, I want to say, Hey, hello to everybody who joined me. This is, I am going to paint some, but I'm considering <laughs> instead of doing a blog or, um, I, I'm just doing a podcast, what I'm thinking about doing on my membership. So I just need y'all to tell me is to have some time where I get to talk with you and I get to see your questions, but I also get to talk the business aspect of how I got to where I am, how I can help you price things and, and know how um, to figure out your cost on whether you're teaching classes, selling your wares, how much to charge to do murals or custom work. This is something that I teach a lot. I watched you too for, I watched you for years. Oh, when I was on this, I was not only just on the shopping channel, but I did um, public television. So public television is how so many people got to know me. And I love that we raised so much money for public television. Um, if you could critique projects. Yes, I would like to critique. Um, I do a lot of that when people send it to me on Messenger through where they come and get certified with me. I don't know if you've ever heard of my certifications, but I, I have certified over 20,000 people around the world, um, men and women who, and teenagers. I have um, certified 12 and 14 year olds that were amazing prodigies. But I just want you to know that what um, I do with my certifications is I teach you how I want you to teach people who have never painted before. It's really kind of difficult to, and when you come to be certified, if you are a seasoned painter and you're used to painting your way. <laughs> so, um, and you would think y'all would just breeze through, but the honest is the people who really are beginners and just getting started, they don't question anything about the certification. They are just soak it in. And so it's usually about three days. We do it now. So you can do a home study courses. We have certifying um, elites that also do online certifying like I do. They also, uh, because I'm so busy, many of them, we kind of guide you their way and some of them might even be in your area. And so they're certified to be able to certify you. And uh, on QVC, thank you. I, so I was in, I jump around, have you noticed? <laughs> I was on the shopping channel in Germany, Canada, UK. Um, yeah, right? <laughs> Canada, UK, Germany, we just traveled 300 something days a year, not certified yet, but I taught a class at church and they loved it. I had moms and daughters. I taught a lot of those, Barbara, at my church. What I love to do is get all the teenage girls um, and the young women's group and they all brought their jeans and t-shirts and we all painted those. And one of this cute little girl said, um, I want to paint the jeans I'm wearing because I didn't bring anything. And I said, oh, it won't dry in time. She goes, I'll be fine until she went to sit down in the car to go home. So anyway, but we had so much fun and you don't have to be certified to share painting and teaching uh, with your kids and grandkids and friends at church and stuff. But if you want to earn income, that's an extra income and have the passion of teaching and enjoying it. Um, my daughter teaches teenagers at our studio every, I mean, most every Saturday. And they just, she sprinkles glitter on them. They have special parties for the Halloween and different things that are in seasons of the year. They do oversized paintings. They will paint what I just painted in class. I did level one online and one of your teachers skill builder one through eight. All right, Lynn. That congratulations, that's awesome. So um, all you have to do is call our office and talk to Amanda Dewberry 
and or write Amanda Dewberry at hotmail.com and just ask her for the details on being certified. So there's different ways you can do it. And there's different, like I said, certifying elites and myself and others that will help you do home study courses, help you do it online. But all of these aspects, um, we, you can grow in my company to, to be an elite, then a certifying elite. Uh, we go all the way to a master's program. And what I love about what we do is that we teach you um, the reason I created some of these programs and levels in the painting is that the paint company would say, we need somebody to go to Spain or we need somebody uh, out in California to do a demonstration in the retail store who paints like you. <laughs> and I would go, you know, there are so many people that have gone through our program, but I don't know who paints like I could comfortably say, go there and teach. So, um, so what I'm doing is I'm working on, um, teaching others to answer the questions and know have the knowledge to use the product that we use and tell people how to do it and know the best way to demonstrate and the and in that process i teach you how to charge for your classes or how to charge for your painted wares and and how to go to the shows and i even share with you how to do displays the setup that are easy and quick these are some of the things that I share. So, so just give me, if you could um, even email me Donna on the road at hotmail.com and say, this is what I'd like to see. Yes. I feel like it's worth adding to the membership program. Um, so I'm thinking about adding $15 for if you want that part of the business where I'm teaching that. Uh, each month and um, a project that would be great to take and teach for those beginners each month. And so anyway, just throwing that out there. Also, it's time for us to talk. I, uh, hello, hello, Deanne and Lorraine. Hello. I love seeing you guys on there. So instead of doing podcasts, if you weren't on a few minutes ago, instead of doing podcasts and doing um, another form of, um, ah, what are they called? Anyway, you know, I'm not super techie, but I can tell you, I want to find easy ways to get to you. Instead of doing my own blog or a podcast um, and having extra people film me and stuff, I just would love to have it so that you can print out how to set up your class and how to um, the supplies that you need and, and checklist and different things that will help you as you're building your business and help you figure out the right things to take the shows to sell to and the right subjects so that you have more success. All right. Are you guys ready to paint? All right. Well, this is one of my live painting classes where I'm just going to teach you whatever I felt like teaching you for today. So I'm hoping that you like that. And please give me thumbs up if it's something you like today. I'm going to be on an 11 by 14. All right. Keep sending me messages though. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I'd love to see what you want to paint. 11 by 14. I've got a wrap canvas. By the way, it's white. And I'm going to put, um, I've got some colors out here I've been painting today. Um, so I have, I'm using multi-surface. So let me show you. Multi-surface paints, okay. And they have the paint, this is the paint that I mostly sell on my website, onestroke.com. And what I wanted to share with you is I am, I love doing flowers. And so I'm going to do some poppies today. And when I'm painting these, I want you to think that I'm wanting to get more of a, like a watercolor effect. So I'm not doing watercolor. And when somebody says, um, in our industry says, uh, that's not watercolor. And I'm like, I like the effect <laughs> and I'm not getting down to terminology. What I'm sharing with you is by using floaty medium with acrylic. I can get a look that I really like that's softer and not heavy paint. 
So when I'm sharing that with you, I want you to know that I'm not saying this is watercolor. I like that effect. And I like to find ways to make it look more like that for you. So let's see. Um, hello, hello, guys. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. I see all these members of my membership. All right, there we go. Um, thank you. I, it's called the One Stroke Advantage, and you get advantages by being a member with me. Lots of fun things that I teach you four classes a month. So the being just a member, the membership is $10 a month. And what that does is it gives you four classes every month. We just started it. It's really fun. And this gives you a feeling of what I do. South Africa, hello, hello, hello. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Oops, we are going to get a pencil and I'm going to draw in, let me show you. Okay, I'm drawing. Can you see this? All right, three back panels. Front. Okay, I'm doing a real ruffled leaf. Can y'all see that? So if you pull a stem down, then you're going to just ruffle each side. I've got construction going on here in the house. So if you see noise, I mean, if you hear noise, that's what's going on. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come up and over. And we're going to do a bud. And sometimes they're fuzzy. Can you see that? The little bud hanging. Here's another one right here. Okay. And I'm going to do another. Look at this. We have petals. Petals. Around, so you don't have to draw these, but it's going to help you see it better. Up here, and then down here. See the loose petals, and it helps you when you see me painting them. Out, out. Can you see that leaf? When I paint it, you're going to see it's it's going to be a lot easier to get the vision. And I want a little bit of fern here. These are mechanical pencils from Dollar Tree, but they work great because I can hand them out in my class. It's got a white eraser already on it. Okay, now what I like to see is I'm going to come right around here. Okay. There we are. Okay. So I just kind of sketch out what I want. So if you just look at a picture and figure out what you want and just pencil in those. All right. They don't have to be perfect. Here's some red. This is a floating, floating medium. See that? All right, everybody gets some apple red, berry wine, and some floating medium 
with a three quarter inch flat and I'll be right with you and we will start. Okay, you got your paint. All right. So see how I've got a lot of floating medium in there? Because this is what I want to do. Let's let's start up here higher. See how you can see through that? That's the floating medium. So the darker reds on the outside edge. It's not white in there or a lighter color, it's just the background canvas. Okay, so. I'm going to pick up more medium because I what I want to do is we're going to put the center in here and these right here are going to be in front. Thank you, Gina. That's awesome. You have a second income from. And I said the other thing about painting is better than drugs. So if you... Uh, so many people that are going through depressions. If you are painting, you don't need some of those drugs because <laughs> it's stress release. Okay. All right. See how the reds, the darker red, the apple reds out there. Then I got, I've got too much. So I'm going to keep going over this to the floating medium. See that? There you go. Now, so that isn't a hard process. That's what we do on each one. All around there. Now I've got people at the door. All right. There we go. Okay. So see, now this part in here is just floating medium. That's what I want you to see. Hello, Miss Linda. I miss you. <laughs> Thank you. You guys made my day. I come on here to see if I can make you have a better day and look, sharing a little bit about what's going on in the Dewberry world. Um, we had birthdays this month. We have, I have to tell you, we figured we have 20 something birthdays between my sister's children and my children um, from October through um, the second week of November. How crazy is that? All right. And I have 
two grandchildren on my birthday. My husband has two grandchildren on his birthday. <laughs> all right. So now I'm going to show you. These are all I'm doing mostly apple red on these with that little bit of floating medium. Okay. So uh, th by the way, sorry, this is a three quarter inch flat brush. It's a little late. I should have told you that a little bit earlier. So I want you to be so passionate and love painting so much with one stroke that you want to know more and more and more. <laughs> I couldn't sleep last night. My birthday is November 6th, but they had all their birthdays um, just coming up. Yes, thank you. Hello, Monica. Post your pencil sketch for us non-artists to print. You're right. That's what I'm trying to do and figure out how to do on the membership to see if that would be something that you guys would like to. All right. So this is what I want to show you. Is that Minerva? I lost it. Okay. So if you wanted to have a little bit of yellow with your poppy, let me show you what this looks like and we can decide if we want to. All right. So right here. See how we're coming across here with the petals? Oh my gosh, I'm cursed. <laughs> now the lawn guy is starting. <laughs> okay, especially when I start a live one. How good is this? I've got the construction going on and they showed up. And I, I'm going to try to take some of that off um, when we send the recording to the site so maybe you can watch it over too see a little bit of that yellow and they'll come right at my window in a few minutes <laughs> the lawn guys okay so we're in florida if you don't get the lawn it takes over there we go all right but it's been raining and storming the other night when i was teaching and that, so usually they don't come when it's raining, but it's raining out there and they're still here. Okay. So see, it's kind of nice. What you can do is maybe put a little bit of yellow back here on some of this, just with the one corner of the brush, not maybe the whole piece, but a little bit. A little bit of yellow here. See, just a little bit. All right. I love sharing what I like to paint. And my one of my favorite things ever, I, I like landscapes, but I'm really into flowers. And it's, it's showing you how quick and easy it is to do flowers. All right. Well, thank you, Helena. <laughs> She's ran out of surfaces, walls, floors, furniture, and her whole entire house. That is so funny. Okay. I have to tell you, I am fighting a lot of construction stuff going on and the lawn guy too. So what I want to do is I'm going to do a part two and come back on in about an hour or so and do the rest when it's not all going on around my ears. Okay. All right. I'll see you then. Don't give up on me. I'll be back. This is um, Poppy's part one, live Poppy's part one. We'll come on later with live Poppy's part two okay and get your stuff ready pencil on some poppies just like get some poppies online and and sketch them in there and we'll come back and do it together all right thank you guys